Today we're looking at the mid Sanchez. He is five foot nine, high medium, left footed, three star, three star. I have actually reviewed his base on the channel already. He can play striker or centre forward, so he's going to be our main comparison here. As you can see, though, absolutely unbelievable stats. Great finishing, really good agility, balance, acceleration, sprint speed as well. Fantastic short pass for a striker and long shots and shot power. Great header and accuracy and pretty good composure. In terms of traits, we've got power free kick, flare, and power header, so nothing too crazy there. Probably going to be running a hunter on him today, but we'll double check on Kem Styles pricing. His best position and much more at the end of the review on Footbin. That being said, let's go jump into some gameplay, but have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So with Hugo Sanchez, his base was unbelievable as our main striker. We're going to play in the exact same system as we use his base. And the thing I loved about his base was his ball control, his ability to finish, and his link-up play. He was so good at pass. We do win the ball back here as we see our opponent's already been caught out. Bit of skill, bit unlucky though. Do win the ball back again, but very unlucky there. But that's one of the main things I liked about Hugo Sanchez is his ability to fight. As we do get him on the air, it's a little Traveller, and that's exactly what his base could do. Our opponent is going to rage quit already, and that's what I love about Hugo Sanchez. Because his ability to dribble and shoot at the same time in terms of his agility and balance is so good, he is so clinical. Let's go jump into a second game. So into our second game then, as we've already seen, Sanchez is clinical. He can play wing, he can play striker, and he can definitely play with a second man as well, that is for sure. And that's something I really loved about his base as well. Well, here is Sanchez on the last man. He's going to take a nice early shot. Finesse from outside. Oh, just wide. Got Sanchez here peeling off. Lovely control. Better skill. Oh, I tried to pull the shot off there. Sanchez take the touch. Take the shot. And what a wonder save from the goalkeeper there. Sanchez, they've got option at the top. Lovely little play. And what a pass into space. Can we punish our opponent for it? What a save again, but what a pass from Sanchez. And that's something he was doing as well. As a winger, he can definitely do that. Give you that option of space to play out wide. As you can see there, rotating round. We got the loose ball. Sanchez driving into space. Little traver Oh, the skill into the finesse. But it's a poor shot in the end from a tackle. But you can see there, executing skill. Fantastic. So rapid. Whenever Sanchez to peel off his man. He does. Sanchez first shot. Back of the net, very good left foot there. Great sitting in deep, pushing forward. We get the goal with him there. Let's see if we can carry on with this game. Sanchez peeling in behind. What a ball. Can we get on the end of it? We can. Here's that pace. Ah, oh, the skill again. Sanchez left foot. Great save again. So unlucky there. A lot to do here. Nowhere to go, unfortunately. Does intercept though. Ball across. Back in. Another great save into the rebound, and we get a block as well. How have we not taken the other goal there? I don't know. Sanchez picks it up, a little layoff. Now go get push Sanchez forward if we can. Little ball in. Sanchez takes a shot, and again another great save. So unlucky not to get another goal here. There is Sanchez take the touch, and again a last ditch tackle. And that is half time. Sanchez has had quite a lot of opportunities. We've just been super unlucky not to score. As you can see here, our shots. A couple of things I'm liking about the card in general is his ability to hold off a man and play the ball in. His passing play is great. His shooting is good. It's just one of those games today where we just don't finish anything. As you saw the first shot we took at the beginning of the video, he got that straight away, no problem. So the goals are definitely coming as he's just offside, unfortunately, there. But I'm really enjoying this card. Do I think it's better than his base? I personally think his base is a little bit better. But it's still too, a little bit too early to judge. Well, here we go. Sanchez picks it up. Lays it out wide. Nowhere to go. We do keep it. We find Sanchez. What a ball in. Sanchez. Cross goal. Top corner. What a finish that was. As I was saying, he was going to get the goals eventually. And what a crazy finish that was. Little pass out wide. Looking for the space again. Lovely little link up from the players. We're driving in. Got Sanchez peeling off as well. What a touch in. Still going. Sanchez cross goal, and that's a poor shot that time. But you can see there, he's not lengthy, but he can still peel away from the opponent, no problem, with that acceleration and sprint speed. Sanchez, little one, two. Take a little while to get back into play, but we do manage to get some space with him. Again, it's a poor pass. Good run from him, though. Sanchez on the air, takes a touch. God, oh, that's a good save from the goalkeeper. 
So as you can see, we are on foot, but it's got about 270,000 coins. And compared to his SBC price, is 262k. I do think that's a little bit pricey for the card. We ended up going for a marksman on him to make him controlled, or a dead eye, I believe it was, actually. And he was, it was a marksman. And he was very, very clinical in terms of getting the ball set up into space. Shooting was a bit consistent, but we can put it down because FIFA's so crazy and consistent in terms of finishing. He has 99 finishing with a marksman. I think it's just down to the goalkeeper being unbelievable that time. When I played with his base, he was finishing everything. There is no difference between his base and his mid in terms of finishing. I find that his base is just a little bit more... What's the word I'm looking for here? Way more control on the ball, especially for half the price almost. There. He's much better to look at. But this is a fantastic card. If you're a Mexican or a Sanchez fan... He is a really good card to go for. I think the SBC will drop down, especially with the World Cup swaps coming, plus all the packs everybody's saving from milestones and the promo cards, etc. I think if you can get this card completed on SBC for around 200k, you are laughing. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, please comment down below. And I will mention that if you're on new gen or old gen, I think Marksman or Deadeye are the two best chem styles to go for. Just to boost up his shooting, I don't think his pace needs it. Maybe if you're on old gen, you could go for a hunter, but it depends on you, really. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one. See you.